artisan gold. Yes. Turkey. I don't see no chicken. Oh. They're turkeys. What? <laughs> what? I, you know I don't read too good. Oh my no! <laughs> you know I don't read that well. Are I you thought kidding it, me? I thought it said tur turkins. <laughs> no, you they're cute babies, <laughs> and you fooled me. <laughs> are you kidding me? But they're so cute. These are special turkeys. What are they gonna cook themselves on Thanksgiving? No, they're gonna be our pets. Is that why they were getting pecked by the other chickens? Because they knew they weren't like them? Those aren't chickens either. Those are, those are white turkeys. Shut up. <laughs> are you serious? Those are the ones we're going to eat. Oh my God. Where, where are we going to put them? I don't know. I, I just saw them. <laughs> I started bringing them home and I couldn't stop. I had the turkey fever. And when you need turkey fever, you need more Two turkeys. Two days in a row, you brought home chicks, and you fooled me. <laughs> that ain't right, Mater. That ain't right. It's not right. Oh, it'll be okay. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> and where are we going to put these things? <laughs> I'm going to make a pin for them. Run. <laughs> hey, those... Those chickens we got, mm -hmm. they're not chickens. Really? They're turkeys. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're turkeys. They're turkeys? <laughs> they're turkeys? Yeah. Oh, See, we're he's turkeys. happy. Little velociraptors. But do you realize what that means? Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, but that's more things that you'll have to feed in water. So? I got, got free Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> that's free. right. That's right. I ain't free. I ain't free. I don't have turkeys. The oh, but, oh. two yellow ones and the ones with the weird faces, what? those are turkeys. That black one there is a chicken. Oh, God. I think you should put... News is out. I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive. Barely. 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 Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. Be sure, hit that subscribe button and like this video. But, moving on, we got a big surprise. We are getting goats. I have an opportunity to get uh, some free goats. It is a mom and her twins that she just had and I have to pick them up soon. One problem, I am not ready whatsoever to house the goats, so, I have a whole fixing of things I have to get done today on my chore list to prepare for this uh, new visitors, these new animals that we're taking on. There's a lot of things I got to get done. I'm going to use my electric netting to get everything set up just to give them a temporary housing. So I have to come up with temporary housing for these goats because I planned on building fences really soon, but I didn't plan on getting animals this fast. So I got a couple ideas. I'm gonna use my electric fencing, my poultry netting as a temporary housing for these goats, but I don't have a goat shelter. And I thought about using the old, the shelter down there that I originally wanted to use for a goat shelter, but the way it's positioned, it's not gonna work. So I got an idea. I'm gonna take you guys to the feed store and we're gonna get the things that I think we need right away just to get us by and then we'll keep on growing and so on and so forth with the other stuff that we might need. So it's gonna be real interesting. Mama's driving today and I'm gonna film. We're gonna to head to this local feed store and we're gonna get whatever supplies we can think of off the top of our head for these goats that we're about to get. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna get a water. Mol a water, molasses bucket, feed. Hey. Hey! <laughs> and uh, 
whatever else comes to mind. So, oh man, I feel like we're missing something though. Sorry, these are our first goats and we're not really sure what to get. As much goat videos as I watch. Can't think of it on top of their head, but we'll see when we get in there. I'm sure it's like shopping any other time. The minute you start seeing stuff, you're gonna realize, yep, I need that, I need that, and you're gonna walk out and it's gonna be like freaking six hundred dollars or something. So alright. Look at that pile of poop on the back of that car. Hope that poor bird's okay. It's like my toy store. It's cool stuff. Yeah. Can I get this, Mom? Can I get this, Mom? Mom, can I get this? Oh, my gosh. You hear that? I hear baby chickens. <laughs> I don't know for people who sell eggs and stuff, but 49 cents for these. If you get on Craigslist or buy sale trade sites or whatever, people will give those things to you. We've got stacks of them. 99 cents so last time i bought these 99 cent broiler chickens from the feed store here um they didn't do too well they didn't have a huge die off but they didn't get as big as they should have and i had some complaints to the people that were eating them not that they were bad it's just they weren't as good as the ones i used to get from duncan's so it's up to you. You can do the 99 cent ones or whatever. I think I'm just going to go a different route. Man, I, th I feel that these are just too big, like too giant of a bucket. I wish there was a flat back, smaller version of this somewhere. Because I don't think they need that much. There should be a little, little device that hooks those little buckets to a wall or something. I wonder where those are at. Because I thought these mineral buckets right here... I thought they had some goat buckets, and maybe that would be a tractor supply I was thinking about. I'm looking for that small, small mineral bucket, like the eight quart one. Yep. Probably need to get some mineral for him. I'm going to hold off on the dewormer to see where he's at on that. Okay. And then sheep and goat feed. Do you want to go to tractor supply since we're in the vehicle to go get that mineral yes. thing? Onward, tractor supply, let's go. <laughs> yep, so we're gonna head to tractor supply now because the other feed store doesn't have the mineral buckets I'm looking for. They are, act, everybody act cool, act cool. Just, it's the cops, chill, chill, chill. Stop, stop driving crazy, Melissa, stop driving crazy. You know I got warrants. Yeah, but I took them out on you. <laughs> for getting turkeys. Turkeys, you just, you just stick to the strain order, okay, woman? <laughs> Coming at me like that all crazy. Now you gotta flash your lights and let everybody know that there's a cop down there. Not, not the windshield wipers. <laughs> Jeez. I must be coffee everywhere. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I tell her to flash the lights because there's a cop down there and let everybody know there's a cop down there. And she hits the windshield wipers. <laughs> squirt, 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 squirt. I and she that. I'm <laughs> And she about spits coffee all over the truck. Those wipers don't work on the inside. Oh man. Oh, shoot. The Adventures of Mike and Melissa. That's good. that's our new that's our new channel name. The Adventures of Mike and Melissa. Oh goodness. Alright, we'll see you at Tractor Supply. All right, tractor supply. See, it says right there. That's where I got. That's where I got those chickens, Melissa. I swear. It says, "Roasted breasted white chicken." <laughs> this is exactly what I was looking for right here. See how small that bucket is, and, and you get to reuse the bucket after the mineral's gone. It's a flat back. Oh, that's perfect. That's what yeah, I was looking that's for. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. All right, let's let's get out of here. All right. So what we're talking about doing is I'm having a hard time deciding where I want to put fence. And I think I'm going to fence in this area back here and I'm going to take it all the way to the back side of my land and run fence all the way down there for our goats. Now I contemplated on doing down there on the other end of my property, 
but we don't have water down there and I really need to have water access that's fairly accessible and uh, it's not a pain we're not hauling five gallon buckets of water so saying that I think this is the best option here uh, it's gonna give them a lot of shade they're gonna they're gonna wind up clearing out geez what was that y'all keep it down up there getting crazy we got neighbors you know so they're gonna wind up having a lot of shade brush to hide into and and forage and and all this stuff back here in these trees but then on the other side of the trees is where I raised my meat birds and they'll have that little pasture back there to graze on. I do need to figure out how I can split it up into two because I really want to do down there as well. But uh, running fence line on downhill slopes that are constantly uneven is going to be challenging. And I may have to take out some hilly parts to, to make it all work. But I got to figure out how to divide it up in two so I can... Ray, I can graze on one and let one recover and not just turn it into a dirt field. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to change out the uh, solar charger that I'm using on the chicken coop. And it's a really super powerful, powerful charger. But we're going to swap that one up at the chicken coop for this S20 Gallagher that I bought for 50 bucks a few months back. Super, super score. Big score. And we're going to put that up on the chicken coop and we're going to take the super powerful one and we're going to put it down here for the goats and that poultry netting because they need it the most. So let's go get this poultry netting set up. What's up turkey? What's up turkeys? I mean chickens. Let's go get this chicken netting. Ah, uh, poultry netting, we meet again. Yes, we meet again. Absolutely hate this stuff, man. Pro tip, if you hate dealing with chicken netting, it doesn't make any sense to roll it up in a big ball because you get frustrated and throw it away. Because eventually, you gotta come back and deal with it. All right, it's not gonna fix itself. What in the tarnation? Ch I think Chip's been here. Chip, man, you can't be doing this, man. It ain't cool. Man, now I got this mess to clean up. Now, I had a bag of cans from a long time ago from a housewarming party, and I forgot them back here, and the bag disintegrated and blew them all over the place. So now I got to get this stuff picked up. Pick up, pick up, everybody do their share. All right, so behind me, you see one of those infamous gallon, 250 gallon or whatever gallons. I don't remember what side this one is. Uh, I don't remember what size this one is, but we've all seen them. They're all over the place. You know them, they're fairly inexpensive, and I was gonna use this for a drip irrigation system for my garden. Now. Uh, it's been sitting back here for a while and I haven't set up that bar big garden yet to do that with But I need a goat shelter like now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these Two pieces that this p thing is made out of and we're gonna make one a shelter and two a hay feeder so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbolt these top bars we're gonna lift this thing out and then I'm going to take these corner sections that go in a V and I'm going to balance those in between the bars here so you have a perfect V to put your hay in. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh gosh, you guys aren't going to believe this. I don't know if it's just me or not. This chicken netting, it will catch on every single thing that you have. I just picked up a mess of beer cans from a party from a long time ago. And what's it? In? It catches on the little handle right here. Catches on this little thing right here and just pulls it all over. So let's play pickup. 
for the second time today. Extremely frustrating. <laughs> hey, did I tell you how much I hate dealing with chicken knitting? <laughs> All right, let's get it done. This is the area that we're gonna put them in here temporarily. And it goes up to the corner of my drive. It's a little triangle piece. We'll stick them down there. We're gonna cut it off by the first fence post because I got a lot of, uh, I got an old burn pile there. A lot of nasty stuff there that I plan on cleaning up, but I don't want the goats messing around in that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our fencing up here at the top. This is where we get the most sunlight. This is where I'll put the solar charger. And then we're gonna run that bad boy all the way down on the back side, and then we'll get our next set of string up or fencing up and run it back up to the top. Hopefully we'll make it up there. It's extremely windy out, folks, so I apologize. In fact, let me get a run at this, and I'll get back to you. I'm going to be the inventor of the no-hassle chicken net system. Quote me. Well, we got the fence all up. Now it's time to switch out chargers. So let's go up to the old chicken coop, grab that charger and swap them out real quick. First things first, we'll shut this off. All right, so here's the Gallagher. We just gotta put this bad boy on. We should be good. It'd be nice if I had a T-post. Huh, let's see if I can find one. I found a T-post on this old fence line. She was halfway out the ground anyway, so I just gave her a good tug. She came right out. Had to take a little bob wire off, but that's not a big deal either. So, Time to get my fence tester. We'll see if this thing works or not. She's hitting on all cylinders, guys. That'll be, that'll be enough to keep something out. Let's hope. I'm just happy I get to use it. God, this thing's been sitting around forever. All right, let's go hook up that other one. What's up, girls? And boys, you guys enjoying yourselves on this glorious day? A little windy. I'm glad to see you guys are doing your part, cleaning up the property. <laughs> yep. Yep, there'll be some extra good scraps for you guys tonight. Hey, y'all know you're new in the crowd, but we don't talk like that here. Thank you, Waylon. Please uh, advise him that uh, we do not put up with that nonsense here. Who's running the show around here, Waylon? Waylon, you getting too old to run this crew? Am I going to have to find a new boss man? No? Well, you better step it up. We can't run away from our problems, Waylon. Sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself. Man, sometimes. It's like a never-ending soap opera around here. Ever since the new guy came on the scene, he just hasn't been himself. Come on. There we go. Oh, man. All right, now that fence is hitting hot now. We gotta put a couple little bit of supports up there, but it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna start on the next project here, and that's making the goat house and possibly the feeder if we have time. So, nothing left to it but do it. Okay, I think I have a plan here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these sides off. I'm gonna cut the sides off, leaving the top ring and this bottom rung right here. We're gonna cut it from here and cut both sides out. And then I'm gonna take them, reverse them and flip them into each other on a V and see how that works. So let's get cutting. So I'm going to take these, I'll reinstall the round sections on the bottom and we'll just V it in like that and we'll have ourselves a hay feeder.
All right, there it is, folks. Here is my homemade goat hay feeder right here. As you see, I cut out the sides. Go, go away, go away. As you can see, I cut out the sides, took the N90 pieces, hammered them down, welded them in. I think you can do this without welding if you took a little bit of time and maybe had some conduit and um, or some EMT and bent your 90s. I think you could do it a lot easier, cleaner. I just welded it. So first time, but I think it's going to work well. Probably saved me $200. Well, there you have it right here. Nice little goat house. So keep them dry and warm out of the wind. We'll fill this up with cedar chips and they should be nicely good to go. Well, I do worry about this thing blowing over. So it does have some uh, eyelets here. You can see right there. We'll drive some T-posts down. We'll, we'll run a ratchet strap in there so they, they're not sitting in the middle of the night sleeping counting sheep I think goat count sheep maybe I don't know and then they just go tumbling we don't want that to happen so we'll be sure to uh, secure this down to the ground before anybody stays night in it because the winds lately have been absolutely horrible as you guys could tell through the whole day of filming it's just non-stop wind you see how easy that that goes down the road if a good wind came we'd 